Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to this Let's Play of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, just a quick thing I want to share. So the Matrix is coming back to my local theater, and they're giving away these coupons for the showings. I'm probably not gonna go, but they are in the shape. I don't know if you can see this clearly, but they are in the shape of blue pills and the red pill. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I'm easily amused. So, uh, where were we? I, I guess we're, we're in this episode. We are going to get the other ingredient for the apologist potion. Harry, Hermione told me that you can find the shredded boomslang skin out in the greenhouse. Follow me, Harry. In the greenhouse. I just, I just got away from the greenhouse. We just had a Sprouts lesson. Okay. Well, did someone just drop down from the ledge over there? Like, like we did that. When we came to school, did someone get out of How the school? Trade, Harry. Not interested. Whoever you are. Um, <clears throat> you know what? The more I grow up, the more I'm inclined to take the blue pill, which is the... Uh, uh, let's see here. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You know what? <laughs> That's st sounding sweeter by the year. It's always so warm in here. Oh, right, we haven't really properly explored this place. Let's go uh, go around, get all the beans. Um, including in the classroom, I guess. Hey, Professor Sprout, you're not here, so I guess everything is mine now. Whoa, we are... We have way more poisons than we need. Okay, I guess that's all the beans we have around here. Hedwig! Hey! Uh, can I do something to her? I guess not, she doesn't have a letter for me. And why do we have poisonous mushrooms? Like, right over the... Right over here? <laughs> you know what, just for shits and giggles. Hey, Ron. Do you, do you like mushrooms? I mean, if you're a hobbit, you would like mushrooms. Okay, he's not reacting. Let's get the gnome to eat some mushrooms. I, I remember now. I, I remember, like, tr trying to get the gnome all over the school uh, school ground. Because this, this is not in one of the challenges. This is just in the campus. And I thought, I, at the time, I thought it was funny to just set a gnome astray in, in the playground. I, I guess it's still kind of funny, but I, I don't remember anything particularly amusing coming out of it. So we're just going to try to throw it back into its hole without much success, that is. Be with you, Ron. I'm not ignoring you. It's just there, there's something I need to do. Hey, what are you doing here? They should lock Harry up and see if the attacks stop. Dude. You know, I'm the subject matter of your accusation, right? You just said that to my face. In third person, that's extremely rude and weird. Okay. Just got another card, and that is for Beaumont Majority Banks. A pioneer of herbology and a collector of many rare and magical flowers, discovered the jelly weed. There's a lot of GD weed connected uh, chocolate cars here. Finally, uh, Ron, w w what do you want? The greenhouse is right inside that door, Harry. Are I'll watch out for Professor Sprout. Good luck. What? What? The, what is to watch out for? That's a sorry ask excuse for not accompanying me. Okay, I guess this is just like another challenge. <laughs> this is pretty much Defendo Challenge Part 2, I figure. Oh, hey. He's walking Tantalus. Isn't that charming? Hey, don't... Don't come anywhere near me. Get away, get away. Uh, 
Okay, get over here. I'm, I'm saving your life, gnome. You don't want to. You don't want to be uh, thrown around with with these dangerous things as uh, lying around. Like, this is extremely hostile ground. We might actually need one of these poiches in this adventure for once. Hmm. How do we get up there? Okay, that's one way. Curiously, I, I really don't remember much about this place because I was really familiar with this game up until now. Oh, I do have some recollection about about this place from this point of view. I hope someone's watching, actually watches this series. I mean, I I don't get a lot of viewers, and then usually I don't mind that. But like th th this game is very personal for me. Hmm. I guess I'm just dropping down. Oh. <sighs> I kind of feel bad seeing the tarantulas just l limping around, disabled. But that's not going to stop me. My monstrous act will continue. Now, where am I supposed to go? Okay. Well, look at that. I wonder what it's for. I don't know, nothing seems to be working. Oh, there it is. That's a silver card for Sakarisa Tugwood, pioneer of beautifying potions, discovered the pimple curing properties of boba, uh, boba, bubble tuber pus. I think that was in the Goblet of Fire. Like, what did she even do to discover that? Like, how did she even begin to experiment with something like that and put it on? And think of putting that on her face. I guess the same question can be asked for a lot of real life uh, objects. Okay, that doesn't work. I'm hearing bow charcoals. Just don't want to bother with them. I'm kind of inv I'm kind of invading their territory, so not that I ever care about it, but still. What do we have here? Oh, a spider. This is a particularly nasty variety of spider. Their bites are extremely ah, poisonous, dangerous. so stay away and cast Rictusempra to stun them. Okay, that's cool. So, I forgot this game had a narrator, you know, because usually it's the teachers who provide a narration for their challenges, but this one is not an authorized one, so I guess that's the reason. They're giving me a lot of chocolate frogs around this place, it's like I'm supposed to be losing chunks of health. Okay, I still ended up killing the bow truckles. Sorry, it was not my intention. Just a second. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm here for. Well, this is a short one. This is much shorter than I than I thought, than I remembered. I guess I really have grown as a gamer. Or 
because I was just a little dipshit dumbass, that, which is the more likely explanation, of course. Get the beans. Ah, I don't even know why I'm getting all these beans. I'm taking set. I'm taking a lot of time to collect them. I don't even use them. Like I didn't buy anything worthwhile with them. <sighs> Once again, let's let's look around the place. This one is for Tilly Tok. Gained the Mer Order of Merlin first class for saving non-magical lives during the Elfracom incident of 1932 when the dragon swooped down on a beach full of sunbathers. Wow, how did it cover that up? And a few things here. That is an embarrassing amount of, amount of riches. Okay, time to claim our prize. It's just a poison ingredient, Harry. Don't need, no need to be so dramatic. Right, that is done. That that is that came that was done a lot faster than I thought would, hey, would be. Hey Hermione, I found a bunch of shredded boom slang skin for the polyjuice potion. That's great, Harry. I'll go add it to the potion right now. You you do that. For you. The weekly ass point ceremony is starting soon. You remember where it is, don't you? No, I absolutely don't know where it is. Oh, but you're you're guiding me anyway, aren't you? I guess that's nice of you. Okay, I'll follow him. Have I ever done this one before? Oh, no, wait. Aha! Another silver card. This is for Mopsus, ancient Greek soothsayer who vanquished the seer Calchas in a contest of their powers. I, I don't. I am not familiar with this name, but I'm guessing it's incorporating other mythological figures into the Harry Potter lore, which is really cool. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the uh, ceremony just to not to embarrass that kid who took the pains to guide Harry here, only to see him crawling into a wall and disappearing. Hello, everyone. Looks like it's time for a Oh shit! This is really close. Ceremony. Let's see which house is ahead this week. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Well, shit. <laughs> ah, the bonus bean room. Here we go again. Ah! Oh, is this... In the second oh week, yeah, we are only two points ahead. Collected the names of those who would be staying at school over Christmas. Harry, Ron, and Hermione signed up. They heard that Malfoy was staying. Does Hermione really have parents? Suspicious. The Christmas holidays would be the perfect time to use the Polyjuice potion and try to worm a confession out of Draco. I ought to head up to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom and see how the Polyjuice potion is coming on. I hope Hermione doesn't need any more ingredients. Uh, don't talk to the camera, Harry. That is just weird. But of course, we are going to do exactly that. Pardon hey, me. um, excuse you. Hey, look at that. There are a few secrets that we we can. A lot right now, but just just don't really have the energy for all of them. Bowman Wright, famous for developing the Golden Snitch. Well, thank you very much for your service, sir. Go away! Goddamn slithering, so so rude. Okay.
Right, let's go to Morning Mojo's bathroom. Which is, like, according to this game, the only bathroom in the school. Holy shit! What is that? What is that? Oh no! Not another attack! Mr. Potter? What's happened oh, here? Great. I don't know! I found him like this! Follow me, E. Potter. Uh, what are we gonna do with him? Professor, I swear I didn't... This is out of my hands, Potter. Um, no password required. Okay. Through this door, please, Potter. Right. No secrets here. So you know where this is. You must know the story. Oh. I'm sure... I'm sure the... I'm sure he won't mind. And what else do we have here? Professor Dumbledore's study. Is it? I have no idea. That cauldron is floating, but I guess it's a magical study, so nothing is too surprising. Hey there, bird. I'm just gonna go steal Dumbledore's, you know, all his beans, all his personal stash. He doesn't like these beans. Oh, that's the... I remember now, I need to avoid the sorting hat. Holy shit! Does Dumbledore know? Of course he does. Dumbledore doesn't like Birdie Blood's every flavor bean, so I'm just putting it, putting him out of his misery. Really, I'm doing him a favor. Also, I'm glad Harry doesn't, you know, search beans out of bookshelves in this game. Oswald Beamish, pioneer of gold goblin rights. That's right, goblin needs rights. So I don't want to trigger the cutscene yet. This one's for Burdock Modun, Chief of Wizards Council, 1448-50. What? Is that all? Because that seems like... It doesn't seem that significant. It's the old school sorting hat. I wondered where it was kept. You've been wondering whether I put you in the right house. Yes, you were particularly difficult to place. But I stand by what I said before. You would have done well in Slytherin. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's a good reaction, Harry. Oh my gosh! You know what? You would have done well in any house. What's that? <sighs> that bird looks sick. Burst into flames. Now it's even sicker. Cause Good evening, Harry. Oh shit. Professor, your bird. I couldn't do anything. He took fire. Fox is a phoenix, Harry. Phoenixes burst into flame when it is time for them to die and are reborn from their ashes. Fascinating creatures, phoenixes. They can carry immensely heavy loads. Which is not a foreshadowing at all. have healing powers, and they make highly faithful pets. Professor, I just want you to know that it wasn't me. I'm not the attacker. I know you're not, but I still want to talk to you. I must ask you, Harry, whether there is anything you'd like to tell me. Being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. Surely Dumbledore knows about anything the incident. at all? No, there isn't anything, Professor. Very well, if you're sure. Good night, Harry. Night, Professor! What was the point of this conversation anyway? There you are! You need to go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Hermione's waiting for you! Okay already, jeez. Uh, uh, 
Oh, we, we've been here. And here we have the defense against the dark art class. There's locker here. Have I never explored this this classroom yet? Things around here seem uh, offensively untouched. All right, what do we have? Uh, Murray Dosa Barkwith, composer of the Unfinished Wizarding Suite, which features an exploding tuba. Its performance has been banned since its last performance in 1902, when it blew the roof out of Akriti Town Hall. What the hell? I guess that makes a very explosive performance. <sighs> I'm so bad at this. Oh right, I remember one thing. Do you know? You you wouldn't know, but this is actually a banquet. Wow. <laughs> so many little details came back to me when I replay this game. It's been at least. Shit, how long has it been? I'm waging it's been at least 15 years since I played this. Follow me, Harry. Okay. Okay, I guess that that works. Jeez, Ron. What the hell? Oh, we have never been here yet. More poisons we're not using. We're gonna use them all probably by the end. I'm in the transfiguration part. That's right. By the way, I don't think we ever have a transfiguration class in this in this game. It, this whole classroom is kind of just here. So somebody took the pains to make this to make this classroom, the model, the the, the settings, uh, without it actually having any place in the story. I think that's actually pretty cool. And I, I didn't do this in my playthrough, but which is well, my playthrough has been pretty straightforward so far. But I think I remember uh, occasionally you can come here and uh, Professor McGonagall will be teaching another class and he'll tell Harry to fuck off. And if we come back here repeatedly, she will dock five points from Gryffindor each time. So that's as far as I know, that's one of the few ways you can actually have points Here's taken away in this classroom. game. What do we have here? What are you, what are you hiding there, Flitwick? Oh, look at that. Uh, this one is for Balfour Blaine, established the Committee on Experimental Charms, which is uh, suitable for a charms classroom secret. I, I don't even think that was a secret. It's not very secretive. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. beware. Yeah, we know. I feel very uncomfortable being in the girls' bathroom. I wish people would stop interrupting my peace and quiet. I do have feelings, you know, even if I am dead. <laughs> She's very touchy, isn't she? Kind of. That horrible stink, Hermione. That will be the polyjuice. Go in the bathroom, Harry. Now, we need one more ingredient for the potion to be completely effective. We're going to need a bit of goil to complete the potion. That's disgusting. <laughs> but how will I find goil? At this time, he's usually filling his face down in the dungeons. All you need to do is follow the trail of food, get the bit of goil and bring it back here to me. Good luck, Harry. Uh, thanks, Ron. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. At all. Like, jeez. Okay. Well, I guess uh, that's another episode down. Well, I'm going to end here because there, and we started with... Uh, 
tracking down an ingredient for the apologist potion and we're going to end it that way i think that's appropriate and so thanks for watching uh please you know, just, just the usual, leave a comment, leave a like for the video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you really like it. Uh, I will appreciate any kind of support. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, the same name, the, 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 the one who eats lemons. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you next time.